So can I use OST and PST files in the new Outlook? Okay, today let's talk about PST and OST files in Microsoft Outlook, specifically the new version. Now, historically, these are file types that Microsoft has always used through Outlook to store your data, emails, calendar events, uh, contacts on your computer. Now, PST files were a local set of data only, not in the cloud, whereas OST files were synchronized with the cloud so you can work offline and then synchronize back when you go online. These file formats are literally decades old. And Microsoft has been moving folks to the latest version of Outlook, especially on 365, and guess what? No more OST and PST files. Now, these file formats, like I said, they're old, they're kind of cumbersome, so it kind of makes sense, especially from a security standpoint and other kind of co-pilot and background database exploration uh, purposes. But what if you need to create or use, especially a PST file, because you've got, you want to do some backups or you want to migrate uh, and you're just working with the new version of Outlook. It's not a problem because you can actually switch back and forth to the older version of Outlook to work with PST files and then switch back to the new version or stick with the old. And Microsoft has made it pretty easy to toggle back and forth between the new versions. You just click on the new Outlook toggle on the upper right of the Outlook screen or click on help and then go to classic Outlook if you're on the new version of Outlook. So yeah, you have to kind of go back and forth, but it'll help you still work with OST and PST files. So got any questions? Let us know in the comments below. Got any weird knock knock jokes? Again, comments below, good spot for it. Got any needs to click on things, subscribe to things, uh, alert on things, this is the place to do it. Seriously, it is, Microsoft says so.